Hey y'all, what is up everybody? What is up YouTube, YouTube? Sparky Mark and Mark here and I'm back to do a review and it's going to be a TV show review. Now, what I'm talking about here, you're looking at here is for the series uh, from Cartoon Network that anybody remembers or recalls from Cartoon Network called Ed and Nettie, which is of course slapstick comedy genre created by Danny Antonucci, uh, the gentleman who was behind the series. Yes, this is him. And I'm going to say this was inspired by the 1930s slapstick of the three of the three guys that gave us like the three stooges and what else? And they were inspired by that. And so he was the animator for the Richie Rich slash Scooby-Doo show. Yeah, this is the drum behind these shows, by the way. And he is the director and co-writer and producer for the last season. Uh, well, the TV movie, because um, by only aired from between January 4, 1999, ended on November 8th, 2009. The last one being was a movie called Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show, but we'll get to that another time. So yeah, giving us the three characters or the or dim-witted heroes. Um, you have the character Ed, also known as Edward, and he's the the strong, dim-witted yet kind-hearted dog dog's body of the group. Ed with two D's, double D, is a venter, neat freak, and clean kind of guy, most intelligent of the of the of the team. And then we have Eddie, a devious, quick-tempered, bitter con artist and self-pointed leader of the Eds. And the three is to obtain money uh, from the kids in the college act to get their paws on jawbreakers, which is their favorite candy. And the voice of, the, of our three leads are voiced by Matt Hill. He voices Ed. Samuel Vincent voices Double D and Tony Sampson voices Eddie of the group. And they're kind of like the Larry, Moe, and Curly Joe. If you can see them like that. Or this is like the Young Three Stooges. I don't think it's known as the Young Three Stooges in other territories. I don't know about that. But all in all, you have our characters. They do crazy things. If anybody remembers the series... Yeah, and I'm looking at the voice of Eddie's brother, which we'll later see in Big Picture Show. Uh, but all in all, let's just talk about the series. Every episode has some homages to certain films. One of them was the very first episode when they're at a sprinkler party and he does a pop culture reference. One of them was related to a James Bond movie where the villain has three nipples. That is referring to the villain Francisco Scaramanga, a.k.a. the man with the golden gun. So yeah, that's a pop culture reference. And two episodes referenced in the episode, which was the um, Vertigo, which is an Alfred Hitchcock classic um, starring James Stewart, Kim Novak. This is his masterpiece right here. Vertigo, mm -hmm. and if you take away, okay, take away the word go, vert ed go, that was the episode for when they were building the treehouse and then their treehouse gets stolen, that's a bit of a referencing to Alfred Hitchcock right there, right, if you're afraid of heights or has a phobia of heights, and then the other one was where they, the ads want to go uh, Ed spots a movie that he wants to see, but apparently it's for adults, unfortunately, and he's upset about it. And then, and the reference title is to a George A. Romero movie that was released in 1979, Dawn of the Dead. Okay, Dawn of the Ed. Get it? That was an episode they were trying to have an idea for a movie idea, vision idea. So yeah, that was cool, right? And all in all, folks, this is a very, all in all, those ideas are very, very unique. Yes. I mean, I highly doubt there were no lawsuits from the estate of Alfred Hitchcock 
or Georgia Romero suing the show for stealing those ideas. So yeah, in some odd ways, I do feel like it is somewhat of, um, how do you put the word, uh, homages. That's what I'm sensing. It's homages. Not replicating what the genre is. No, and then all in all the runnings and all the other things you're seeing in the series. Some I give high response. One, I, one or two I don't give any response. And... Also, what else? Yeah, all in all, it's a great show. It is out on DVD on a set, but I'd rather wait for the series to get a wonderful, superb Blu-ray release it deserves. A nice box set, and plus, I hope we get this the, the big film, Big Picture Show, Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show, because that movie really needs the love it deserves. So, yeah, that's the last one from Ed and Natty before the series went bye-bye. So, yeah, here they all are. Oh, anybody remember Cartoon Cartoon Fridays? I sure do. Brings back the fun times every Friday. Hmm. Can't believe you remember this? Hmm? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Everybody's at a theater. I can spot Eddie Double D. Ed is right there. Yeah, they're at the theater. Wow, what's about to go down? <laughs> ah, Cartoon Network. Good times, huh, everybody? The Rowdy Rough Boys against Ed and Eddie. This ought to be fun. Think of that. <laughs> ah. Anybody remembers the film that came out in 2015 called Stray Outta Compton, which is a autobiography movie based on the events of the rappers of NWA. And ever since then, we've been getting Stray Out of Where? Stray Out of Nowhere from Courage. Stray Out of This. Stray Out of That. Stray Out of Peach Creek. Wow. How crazy can you get with these guys? Ugh, can't forget that as well. And look at that. 20 years of Ed and Nettie since January 5th. Actually, it was January 4th, 2019. Of 20, 20 years, actually. Since the series aired. So, yeah. i rather... And look at that. This, this year, January 4th, marks 25 years of Ed and Nettie. I mean... You cannot go wrong with these hero, these young heroes. And if you see, if you remember the characters, there's Kevin, who calls them dorks. Eddie calls them shovel chin. Rolf, son of a shepherd, has a farm full of animals. Jimmy's a kind-hearted kid. Ed's little sister, Sarah. Nat, and then the neighbor girl, Naz. And you have Johnny 2 by 4 with his buddy, Plank, that smiles. And you have these three sisters known as the canker sisters so yeah can't forget that as well but all in all this is like the slapstick of the 90s and millennium and yeah it shows that you can do slapstick anytime so yeah so tell me what do you guys think of this series tell me what is your favorite episode tell me what is your favorite um uh what is your favorite episode what is your favorite um parts about the series your favorite characters scenes and other things like i sure as i laugh my ass off on anything that is related to our character to our heroes of the stories of the series of course <laughs> so yeah so yeah, tell me what you guys think, and any of you guys born in the 90s would remember the series. Anybody who was in, born in the late 90s and 2000s would recall watching this, channel surfing, or maybe watching it on YouTube. Let me know as well. So yeah, I'm praying that this gets a, a wonderful Blu-ray series, and I hope that Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show will get a DVD and Blu-ray release it deserves. It really needs to see the light of day from fans of the series and animation and cartoons. 
alike, including comedy as well, and slapstick. So yeah. So y'all, let's give a shout out to the collectors out there from the physical media collectors, the toy collectors, autograph collectors, and all you collectors out there. Plus, I'm in the YouTube community. I often post what time I post videos at a certain time, whether it be the afternoon hours or the early evening hours. Also, if you like content like this or any other content, please click the bell and the subscribe button to be notified of all new uploads. Like the videos, always appreciate the thumbs ups. Comments down below. So, yeah. And more of the animations, just look quickly and stuff. Oh, even the holiday specials were much fun. Uh huh, Halloween episodes. Oh, look at that. Very cool, very cool. So, yeah, and before I sign off, wow, this show won the Rubin Awards in May 8th of 1999, just five months after the airing. Coined it as the best television animation series ever. Won two awards. Nominated twice for certain episodes. On, 20, on May, uh, between, whew, well, May 8th and May 6th of 2000, this won the award. But in the Leo Award was nominated as well for this for this episode, and this one was in 2001, actually 2000, May of 2001 in November. For the Annie Awards, it was nominated. 2004 was nominated for the Leo Award for Best Musical Score of an Animation program or series and then 2005 same thing but one for Patrick Car Carad I can't even say the name kids choice awards favorite cartoon nominated on April Fool's Day of 05 May 1206 same thing best sco musical scores even in 2007 nominated for favorite cartoons on March 29 2008 November 23rd, 2009, for the SO, for the SCAN Awards, for the SCAN, so, I can't even say this name for, for that award, and it won for International Television Music Award. So yeah, two years ago we got this on a DVD set, but it needs to get a Blu-ray release, really, it needs to get that. Alrighty then. So y'all, this is Sparky Marky Mark signing off y'all. Take care. God bless you. Hear you. And see you on the next vid. Enjoy Wednesday y'all. And later.